Greetings everyone and welcome to another episode of Heads Unboxing. I am glad you tuned in because I have something very different I want to show you this time. As you can see it's a box of Lego. It's the Ravager Attack from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I had this set lying around for quite some time till I finally decided to make a little video out of it. I hope you will like it. I know it's not the stuff I usually show you, but why not try something new from time to time? I have to admit I was always a big fan of Lego toys. When I was a kid I was already building my own spaceships. But that was long ago, when Lego was much more simple. These days you get complete spaceships right out of the box. But I'm not complaining, let's build it. Ok, and here we are. Let's start with a closer look at the minifigures. The first one is Rocket Raccoon. Even as a Lego minifigure he can be easily recognized. I would have loved to have this figure when I was a kid. The next member from the Guardians of the Galaxy is the beautiful Mantis. Her minifigure is looking good as well. You can easily tell who this character is supposed to be. The last figure in the set is Taserface, carrying a big gun. I don't remember if his face was all purple and pink in the movie. But why not? You can easily tell he is the villain. The minifigures of this set are all very nice. I guess we all can agree on that. But now let's have a look at this spaceship. For a Lego set of this size and price, it looks very impressive at first sight. And even after a close inspection it's very nice. It has a fine glass cockpit you can open. And one minifigure will fit inside. And it has a very unique design. I like it. I really wonder who the LEGO customers are these days. This set is definitely aimed at kids. Not too expensive. And has some nice and funny minifigures. But there are different sets. Costing a few hundred bucks. I really don't know if this is the right toy for a kid then. But let's stay with this set for the moment. What do you think about it? Please let me know in the comments for the video. You can also tell me if you would like to see some more LEGO unboxing. To be honest, I have some more sets lying around. Before we finally say goodbye, let's have a look at this tree. It is another fine example how much LEGO changed in the last decades. When I was a kid we had a simple tree. One piece, just green. That makes me wonder where LEGO is going. I guess we just have to stick around to find out. <laughs> 